All right, I thought I'd make a short video uh, uh, showcasing my magnetic polisher that I just finished making. Uh, I've got a third horsepower motor, a DC 90 volt motor on a K and B uh, pulse width modulation speed controller, and here's my. Uh, disc arbor with my rare earth magnets and these are my uh, uh, stainless steel pins they're really pretty small uh, anyway little stainless steel magnetic pins I got two different types of bowls I got a little food processor bowl it's a six inch diameter got this center uh, barrier region which is good for these pins because there tends to be a dead zone right in the middle of the uh, the magnetic field so anyway the ideal is uh, as I adjust this get my spin and uh, I'm not really sure what these th uh, magnetic polishers are supposed to spin at but you can go as high as I want to go so Took me a while to balance this uh, the arbor uh, disc out. It uh, you can see a couple screws and uh, anyway, and I got a piece of double plexiglass right on top. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you how this thing works. Put a bucket of uh, flat bottom bucket with the uh, with the 0.3 millimeter stainless pins on here. You can see, um, centered on here. Mm, that's about right. Doesn't matter. But anyway, they're pretty strong magnets. I think they pull about 85 pounds of force, so it takes a while to get them apart. Anyway, watch this. So there's pretty much self explanatory. Uh, I just Speed it up. Kind of get some interesting action. So there, I don't think I want to go much higher than that. I got some pins almost coming out, and these things would kill your eye. But if you see, or, uh, I don't know. I can't tell if they're really going around in circles or not anymore. Well, anyway, that's the magnetic polisher. Pretty basic. So this this whole setup it probably cost me, eh, with the uh, you know I bought. A lot more than what I used, but um, with the controller, the motor, and the aluminum, probably about 150 bucks. Uh, one of these uh, on the market can cost anywhere from a couple hundred bucks up to thousand dollars, and that's uh, for a limited capacity one. This will do up to a 10-inch wide bucket, and uh, can polish large large pieces pretty well. So anyway. Um, Thought you'd enjoy watching.